Hey everybody, we we're about to give you another medical assessment for the NREMT checkoff with an actual student, so follow along. Okay, so this is your medical patient <coughs> assessment scenario. Okay. You are dispatched to a private residence for a 67 year old male sick person. Sick person? Yes. Okay. Uh, PPE seen safe? Seen is safe. Seen is safe. All right. Uh, nature of illness? Sick person. Sick That's all person. you get right now. Oh, okay. Uh, number of patients? <coughs> One patient. One patient. Okay. Um, I'm going to request additional EMS, okay. ALS. Um, I'm going to consider C spine. I don't think I will need it because. Uh, there hasn't been any trauma right now for the spine. Okay. Uh, gonna move on to primary assessment. Can I get the general impression? Yeah, so you walk into a well-kept house. He's sitting in his living room on his recliner and he's sitting as you see him here. <coughs> Tripod, okay. Um, does he track me when I walk up? He does. He does, okay. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, I'm Mason, I'm with the EMS. Can you Tell me your name. My name is Wade. Wade, okay. Uh, can you tell me what city we're in? Uh, Boise. Boise. Can you uh, tell me what month it is? Uh, August. August, okay. Uh, can you tell me what happened? Well, I was watching TV. My wife said I don't sound good when, she, when I'm breathing, so she called you. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, uh, what's your chief complaint? I just can't catch my breath. I'm having okay. a hard time breathing. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, uh, at this time I'm going to uh, give you some oxygen if that's okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, give you a uh, non rebreather uh, I'm gonna give you a nasal cannula if that's fine with you and okay. gonna be at five liters a minute. You're the boss. <laughs> um, the breathing, maybe rhythm quality. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna. Is it okay if I grab your wrist and get your pulse yes, real quick? So you feel his pulse rate, it is 110 beats per minute. 110 beats per minute and strong normal. It is strong and it is regular. Regular, okay. Um, skin, can I get the temperature, condition, and color please? It is pink, hot to the touch, and dry. Pink, hot to the touch, dry. Uh, do I see any major bleeding? No major bleeding. No major bleeding, okay. Um, <coughs> coughing. Can I, uh, uh, can I get blood pressure at this time, Bridles? Yeah. So blood pressure comes back at 142 over 70. 142 over 70. Okay. Can I get uh, SpO2? SpO2 is 90%. It looks like it's coming up with that oxygen. It's coming up. Okay. Um, I'm gonna come back to that. I might have to move to a normal breather to get you more oxygen. Um, CO2. Uh, can I get the e ETCO2? ETCO2 is 45. 45, okay. Uh, blood glucose? Blood glucose is 95. 95, okay. Uh, temperature? Temperature is 101.5. Okay, and then respiration rate, please? Respiration rate is 20. 20, got it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna transport now, high priority. Okay. He uh, is having shortness of breath and you wanna get to the hospital pretty fast. Um, can I, uh, you okay answering some questions? Yes, sir. Uh, do you have any other signs or symptoms that I should know about? No, I just can't catch my breath. Okay, uh, allergies? Uh, shellfish. Shellfish. Uh, do you take any medications? The doctor gave me an antibiotic last week. Okay. Um, past any medical history that I need to know about? Uh, not really. I'm a smoker. 
doctor said that I had something going on last week. I don't know. I wasn't listening. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you ate or drank anything? Dinner last night. Dinner last night? Okay. And, uh, yeah, you're just sitting on the couch and your wife called for join us a breath. Yes, sir. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to ask you a few more questions. Uh, can I get uh, lung sounds? So lung quick? sounds, yeah. So lung sounds, you hear ronchi in the bases, and it is clear up top. Clear up top, okay. Um, you said you... We're a smoker, are you still smoking? Yes, sir. Here? Okay. Uh, about how much do you say a pack a day or? I'm a two packs right now, I'm cutting packs. back. Cutting back, got it. Uh, okay. Uh, <coughs> some coffee. Uh, can I get his SPO2 again? SPO2's come up to 94% on that five liters. Okay. Uh, Still going up pretty fast. Okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, switch the nasal cannula. Now I'm gonna go to a um, nebulizer, and I'm gonna give you a dose of butyl sulfate. If you're okay with that, yeah. Not allergic to that. Awesome. Okay. No. Uh, What's your dose on that? Two point five milligrams, and at eight liters per minute okay. for oxygen um, and hopefully that will help with the coughing for you sir and hopefully your SBO2 will continue to rise um, I believe you're just having <coughs> problems with the smoke and your lungs are hurting from that um, don't believe this would count it could count as a Asthma attack. Um, okay. Already transported. And is that helping? Yeah. You? Okay. Uh, I'm going to. go ahead and uh, call the hospital now and okay. give my patient assessment. Go ahead. And uh, St. Alice, this is Medic 2-0. Go ahead. Um, what was your age again, sir? 67. 67. Okay. Uh, I am en route with a 67-year-old male, shortness of breath. Um, he is vital signs. Uh, blood pressure was... 144 over 78. 142 over 78, yep. 142 over 78. Sorry, I probably should have wrote that down. That would have been smart. Um, can I get the pulse again? Pulse is 110. 110, okay. Um, what's the SBO2 at now? It's at 99% now. 99%, okay. Um, and pulse heart rate and SBO2. Uh, Talk is all good. Can I, uh, blood glucose, what, blood, what was blood glucose again? 95. 95, okay. All right, um, the blood pressure of the six, seven year old patient is 142 over 78. Uh, pulse is 110, 110. Uh, SPO2 was at 98%. Uh, blood glucose is at 95. I have given the patient uh, one dose of albuterol sulfate, 2.5 milligrams at eight liters per minute. Um, with that treatment, the patient's SBO2 has gone up to 99%. Uh, we are 10 minutes away. Any questions? No questions. Okay. Okay, with that remaining time, what would you like to do with that time? Is there anything else you would like to do? Uh, I would like to reassess every five minutes. I don't want the shortness of breath to develop into something more severe. Okay, what are you reassessing every five minutes? I'm gonna reassess all the vitals, making sure that blood pressure is staying somewhat normal, SBO2 isn't dropping, and that his pulse uh, isn't going crazy from the albuterol sulfate. Okay, all right, how do you think that went? 
I don't know, I'm still a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. Shaking a little bit, but felt all right. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple problems, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You ultimately treated the patient appropriately, right? Mm -hmm. You got a good scene size up. You got into your primary, and maybe in your head you were assessing it. You didn't say anything about his airway, didn't ask about his breathing, okay? okay. You kind of mumbled something about rate rhythm quality under your breath, but it was very quiet. It wasn't really anything about breathing. Mm -hmm. And so you gotta be very explicit about that got stuff. It. That's stuff we can't really budge on. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, you treated them appropriately, right? High flow oxygen, nebulizer switching over because you heard some ronchi and some adventitious lung sounds. I thought you kind of got back on track pretty well for a while. Okay. Um, you did a good history. You did an okay secondary. Would have liked to seen maybe a couple more, uh, you know, thinking about, so what paste. body, so, yeah, paste, yeah. exactly. So mm -hmm. he's a respiratory patient. So asking about sputum, asking about any associated chest pain, just kind of yeah. some of the other stuff, right? Yeah. Um, and so, looking at his respiratory effort again, overall work of breathing, does he have retraction? So the, his positioning seem to be more relaxed, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, and then, uh, you know, just stating out loud, like, what do you think is going on with this guy at some point, right? Your field okay. impression, okay? Yeah. Uh, interventions were appropriate. Your reassessment was good. Your uh, report was good, although write that vital, those vitals down, you gotta remember that kind yeah. of stuff, right? Yeah, that okay? would be awkward on an actual So, <laughs> ultimately, you treated him appropriately, but would need to have a certain um, some critical fails in the primary assessment is yeah. ultimately what failed you. On Got that it. One. Okay. 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 All right. What do you think was going on? Um, I don't know if that would count as an asthma attack, but I believe they got some sort of fluid in the lungs because of the smoking and some sort of blockage. You're not. You're on the right track. What was yeah. the temperature? It's a higher. Temp is the what was the temperature I had? It was high. Well, what did that indicate potentially? Uh. A cough, fever, sickness recently. Productive. Sure. Yeah, so if we have a thing. fever, what what does that usually mean is going on? Uh, there's some sort of infection. Infection. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. So if we're talking lung system, what infection is a big one in the lungs? Uh, yeah, I don't. Know. It's got a silent P yeah. in there. Oh, uh, pneumonia. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Is it kind of clicking, it. making yeah. more sense? Yeah, no, it's all right. making a lot of sense now. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. Be all right. Yeah. So that was a student doing the NREMT medical assessment checkoff. As always, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. We'd love to see them, and we'll get you next time.